Hi, this is Mimi, born to sparkle and shine. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit like if you like this video, and share with your friends. So, I love Avon. Sounds like an old lady, I know. This is the Ink Lasting Foundation. It's one of their newer foundation. It's um, not that inexpensive. I got it free because my Avon agent ordered the wrong one, and so it ended up being my color. So that's, what I, that's how I ended up with it. But it's Ink Lasting Foundation. And this is color is, I can't read it at all. I can't read it. I don't have my glasses on though, so I have on. Anyway, this is what I put on my face today in the beginning. And I thought, ooh, that looks a little yellow. But we'll see. Because they got rid of all of my normal foundation. So I had to make a decision on what to get. So this is the Avon Ink Foundation. This was free. And I was ordering my other stuff. Then they got rid of my loose powder. Which, this happens to me all the time. So, I got this. I'm not being paid by anybody, of course. This is the Magic Dust. This is backwards, whatever. Magic Dust. They have two colors. Two colors. Everybody's only two colors, mind you. So, this is the darker color, which is considered beige, I think. And the other color is like a white, translucent ivory. So, it looks like this. And it's Magic Dust. The only thing I don't love about it is the way you open it. So, when you open it, you twist it. It only has this many holes. That's not a lot of holes. One, two, three, four, five, six holes. And so you can turn it. When you turn the little toggle, it makes the holes open. When you turn it back, it makes them close. But you got to fight to get the powder out of it. And it's kind of, um, it almost has its own highlight in it. So it's kind of its own natural highlighter. I'm not a big highlighter, non-highlighter. I'm just trying to put some enough bake on to look at, makeup on to look like I tried so I can, you know, work every day. Um, but this one is... Translucent medium deep is what it's called. Translucent medium deep magic dust. They I have the magic uh, the magics uh, um, primer, but I didn't have that on today. And I have the magics uh, pow the magics liquid, which is really light. I kind of like it because it's got it's a lighter one than this. This is the ink, which when it goes on it stains. Like I would watch your towels because it's gonna stain your towels. It's it's an ink. It's supposed to be like a tattooing of color and it doesn't come off real easy i had my mask on all day and it hasn't come off so whatever this is avon their new line they got rid of my line of product that i like which is the mineral powder or something this is magic dust i think is a type of mineral powder finishing powder i guess it is i'm just i need to have makeup on to make it i used to wear two foundations i used to wear their liquid foundation with their undercover eye like concealer and then i wore their actual powder foundation it was a mineral pet foundation i was just i knew i was wearing two foundations they'd always question me why are you getting two i don't care it makes my face look like i tried um my other stuff like this right here on bottom is avon also and this bottom right here is avon eyeliner which i have very little on but my colors i cannot lie are not avon i wear colors that are other companies colors and I'm not working for Avon or not. I have not an Avon agent, by the way, at all. I'm not promoting my agent, whatever. Um, but when you're doing this, you got to kind of sometimes pick. Because Avon's colors are kind of boring to me. Every once in a while, they'll come out with a teen line with some brighter colors. But I need some color. If I'm putting makeup on, I want to actually have some color on my face. Sometimes I go with, oh, let's be calm today. Not normally, because I'm not normally calm. Excuse me. Anyway. So, but normally I want some kind of color. It's like I'm trying to put makeup on so people can see that I have makeup on. I'm not trying to put a bunch of beige on, which I know people ask, you know, why do you wear makeup? Well, it looks like I actually woke up and combed my hair. Because this hair, <laughs> it is what it is. It's going to, like, do what it's going to do every day. And it's because I fry it so much with blonde bleach and I don't read instructions on anything I'm doing. And so, it kind of goes wherever way it's going to go that day. And what's funny is when I find a part of it that looks funny like this... I'll lift the other side and people think I did it on purpose so they don't even know that this hairstyle is a style of its own and I just have to like match the other side kind of to it sometimes it doesn't match I know y'all can see that in my videos but I just keep the sides short I mean and now that it's COVID my spouse cuts my hair cuts this part and I just cut this as needed which is not often because it's always falling out because I'm always bleaching it with too much bleach and I don't read instructions so I'll leave it in too long I did find a product though. I think it's called Tess or Ness. And it's a box. 
you can get, I can only find it at Target, at Target, but it's a box and it's like a sealant for your hair follicle. And you have to, you do it just like you would a normal dye so to pick the color that matches your hair. I like that stuff. So that's what I use for that. But it is a fried mess right now because I, I don't remember what I did to it last. I can't remember what I did. No telling. But I like it when the roots start growing a little bit because I don't like it when it's all blonde to the base. Because, I mean, everybody knows my hair's not blonde. I just like the pop of color. I did do a dark color, like, not long ago. And I just don't like it. I want my hair to be light colored. I don't, this is just, I guess it's just me. I don't know. Um, Ask Shelly what she liked. She likes it blonder too. But the blonde is what fries the hair. Because, like, my hair is literally, like, crispy with fried. Crispy with fried. Yeah, I don't know. And everything in my world is moving closer to here, which is in the country. So my hairdresser is not near here. My old hairdresser that I love. And my um, other old hairdresser that I love is not near here either. So I'm having to find new people. If I'm going to do anything in, in a salon with a mask on and they have a mask on, it's going to have to be in the country near here. And I don't know if they know how to handle this kind of hair. Because it's over... It's over... Um, I've done too many things too. It's over processed. So, you just, I mean, and if it gets, it starts falling out, I'll just shave it shorter. I'm not like a big, I'm going to fall out if my hair falls, that kind of person. It doesn't really bother me. Um, so, I don't know. I went to Five Below today though. Oh my Lord. I was just trying to find a case for my glasses because I didn't buy the case I wanted to buy at the store, which I should have bought. And then I had to go back and buy it anyway. But I went to Five Below. They are crazy busy. Most people have on masks, or I think most all of them did. Um, but it's packed busy and I'm like ooh and the line was lined up all the way five below if you don't know is a store and everything in the store is five dollars and under it's like a dollar store with a little bit of extra stuff we got lots of makeup probably all made in China with all kinds of whatever in it um that wasn't an insult to China but anyway I'm always cautious with makeup but anyway um I do wear five below makeup I'm not lying this is five below eyebrows right here um so anyway so the line was to the very back and it was so packed that I finally asked somebody is or do y'all have glass case they don't even have glass glasses cases they don't have glasses cases at all anyway so I don't have what I need to protect my glasses because I bought new glasses and I'm kind of rough I already lost them within the first like hour of having them so I thought I need to get a glass case because I don't think I have the ability to keep up with something medicated or not and I mean that medicated because I'm medicated I'm not insulting people who need medications I need medications to be able to focus my past videos recently showed I was diagnosed as ADHD recently as an adult. So, anyway, so I got to focus, focus, focus. Um, and so, the, I don't ever want to throw out a mental illness as making a joke about it. Because I have them. They're real. And people that have them don't need to be insulted by making fun of the characters. When people say, oh my god, they must be bipolar. I want to stab them. Because... Bipolar is a real illness and it really has highs and lows and there's people who actually are diagnosed that may not want to tell you because they think you're going to act like that about it and it's not it's not up and down up and down. People that are acting up and down have their own thing whatever that may be but it you, you cannot diagnose a person by their behavior. You are not a licensed therapist. You can kind of guess at it but you can't really diagnose it. Oh my god I didn't realize I had this flower in my hair. So anyway I went to get flowers today and this flower fell out so I put it in my head. I forgot it was in there. ADHD. Ha! Ah, real ADHD diagnosed um so anyway i have an appointment with my doctor to do a recheck i'm not in love with the extended release product i was given for my adhd so i'm considering can i find a shorter acting one um because i don't like that this lasts all day i need to have my power i feel like it's a superpower like i have a superpower of adhd and they take it away from me during the day so i can focus and then after that i should have my regular superpower back i want my superpower back i want to be able to be unfocused and, and happy and lively Again, because it's a, it's a stimulant they give you to make your brain be able to accept dopamine. That's what they do when you have ADHD. This story is going off the street down the corner. But anyway, it's a stimulant they give you. And the stimulant makes your brain be able to accept dopamine because your brain can't normally accept that. And dopamine, from what I can gather, I understand from what the videos I've watched, makes your brain focus on one task at hand. So, I do believe it makes you focus within like 30 minutes of taking it. But it also makes my heart flutter a little bit. Sometimes if I take it too late in the day, I'm still awake. I'm still like, ah, a little bit. And I can feel like this feel of rush and anxiety. I have enough anxiety disorder as it is. I'm diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. So I don't need any more anxiety in my life. I just, yeah, whatever. So um, if you need help, get to a doctor if you can. I have the ability. I don't have 
I have the ability to get to a doctor, although I don't have health insurance. But I just I pay self-pay, and there's a lot of doctors that do self-pay. So you got to realize, even if you don't have the ability to go to the doctor, you can get self-pay. Self-pay is you pay a price, and it's way cheaper. So like you just call them, hey, do you do self-pay? Self-pay is they don't have to deal with their uh, insurance offices, and then you pay them a portion of what they would have normally gotten. It's not the same as what regular people pay because they bill the insurance way higher, but they got to fight the insurance. Some people don't do self-pay. Some doctors don't take self-pay. You'll find some that do though. I've seen, I've, I've been to one, two, three that do self-pay. And I really like the self-pay concept because I'm only paying for what I need. Now, I got to figure out something for the future. Oh, my dogs are crazy. I just found a squirrel in the tree and the squirrel's throwing things at them. This, this squirrel in this tree throws like things out of the tree, like nuts out of the tree at my dogs. I think it's hilarious. I'm hoping they knock them in the noggin because stop chasing that damn squirrel. The squirrel lives outside. This is where the squirrel lives. You don't live outside. You live in the house. You come out here to go potty. Go potty and go back in. Anyway, this is Mamie Born of Sparkle and Shine. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Use hand sanitizer. Get some rest. Hit like if you like this video and subscribe. Bye-bye.